For those of y'all just now tuning in, this is the man behind the brand. I am your boy, Stella Sean Gardner, checking in. This is the new live interactive audience. So if you've never been to my show, welcome to the room. Welcome to my world of fashion, entertainment, fun, and lifestyle. Bring you the best of some of your favorite fashion influencers, entertainers, events, and more. You know, so tonight I'm excited about my special guest. You know, we going global. So they're not even in Texas, but we're going to give them a Southern hospitality welcome. Make sure you share this live because it's going to be real good tonight. And she's in the room, so I'm about to bring her home. Look. Going got my on, girl. Sean, how you doing? Hey, Museum, everybody. How you doing? I am good. Thanks for having me. And look, we got a little princess in the building. Huh? We got a little, we got a little princess in the building. Look, you see, I, I can't go nowhere without my baby princess. All right? She rocking the side piece. Already, you know it. Me, her, all of us. <laughs> and look, we're Pernell. We're Pernell there. You know, we got to check your room too. I had to shit <laughs> Pernell off the sh to, to some um. Some training. He was running me raggedy. I had to <laughs> real quick. When he's coming back home next week, so I'm no excited. I miss behind. my baby. No dog left behind. How you doing? I'm good to you. Look, I'm excited for tonight. You know, everybody welcome to the world of the man behind the brand. We again we got my special guest, Shay Hair Museum, aka the Shay Flay in Princess, the one and only Queen Princess sidekick who makes it all happen. You know, she go all the way from Charlotte. Right? Yep, Charlotte, North Carolina. Look, welcome to the Texas vibe. It's a little, little Southern hospitality flavor. So now you go by Shay Flay, the queen, the creator of the side piece. Tell us long, how long you've been in the beauty industry? Man, I've been in the industry. This year is going to make my 20th year. So I've been saying 20 for a minute, but this year actually marks my 20th year doing hair. So I'm feeling like a vet. I'm feeling kind of seasoned. Up oh, two decades. You look well yeah. season. Yeah. You're still in the game. You know, so what what sparked your love of fashion, beauty, and just glam? I think um I was playing with baby dolls since I was a baby. Well, not a baby, since a kid. And um my mother wasn't here when I was growing up, so I ended up having to do my hair growing up. So I was doing my hair, doing my sister hair, doing my friend's hair, and I was just, it was just a natural gift from my baby dolls. So I just knew that it was something that came natural, easy, and I'm getting ready to take off with it. And that's exactly what I did. So Thank now, you. you know, in the South, we have a lot of kitchen stylists that come out to be the best there on top. So was you a kitchen stylist starting out? Was I? I was putting rollers in hair in the microwave. I'm talking about burning hair in the microwave. I did everything. I did my friend's hair for picture day. I didn't play. And this started in seventh grade. Oh, so you was hooking the girls up at prom, huh? I wasn't playing with them. I wasn't playing with them. And some of them I still do to this day. Really? Yep. So now, give us a little bit more insight about who the Shay Slay brand is. Shay Slay. Uh, the Shay Hair about... Museum, all of that. Uh, that's just a little nickname. My name is Shay. It had a little catch to it. Then I started singing the Shay Slay when I did my um side pieces. And it was just something that was catchy. It was a lot of shades in the industry. A lot of people have the name Shay attached to their Instagram names. So I'm like, you know what? Let me add a little razzle dazzle to it. Then I saw it was a couple more Shay slaves. I said, you know what? When I say my name, I'm going to sing it. I'm going to add a little something, something to it. Hey, I, lo I love it. I love it. And I love the name Shay Hair Museum. So speaking of the Hair Museum, what are some of your signature styles? We know you got the side piece. Now, how did you come up with the the idea of the side piece. Have you always been a short hair girl and you know you like to just switch it up on the fly? Or what was it? Yeah, I'm always I've always been a short hair girl, but I switch it up with weave back and forth. But you know, putting weave on and taking it off, on and off on it eventually take your hair out. So I started getting some thinning and some alopecia in the middle of my hair and I'm like, you know what? I need a unit that I can switch my look up, be snazzy, jazzy. If I want to take it off and grease my scalp and take care of my hair, I can without it being a wig because I have migraines, so something that's going to cover my whole head always triggered my headaches. So the side piece came about. It was a clip on. It was easy. You could switch your look, and we just rolled with it. Man, so how has that been for you, transforming, transforming women all over with just a quick snap? It changed my life, man. I mean, I'm going to be honest. 
it was something I did. I threw out there. I didn't expect it. It, it kind of took off a little faster than I expected. But um, man, God is good. The side piece has been a blessing. This allowed me to to step away from doing hair a little bit and, and focus on some some new talents. And I'm thankful for the side piece because, you know, I put through a side piece on Princess's head and that took off and went viral. And from there, you know, and I was just playing. So it all kind of tied it. Princess was birthed from the side piece. Everything came out of my side piece. So I feel like that was just God just, you know, just giving me a blessing and giving me some more creativity and some new ideas, to, you know, make my girls beautiful. Look, y'all, she condoning the side piece, but not be a side piece chick. Nah, but nah, I'm a wife. I'm a wife. <laughs> I'm a wife, but you better not be a side chick for nobody. How about that? Messing up people's families and stuff. So now, you know, the TikTok world, I call it the viral world. It's like a whole nother planet, a whole nother world outside of Instagram. How was it for you when you first got your first taste of the viral experience? You just woke up and then just like, boom. How, how, how did it happen for you? But the, uh, when the pandemic started? What was your taste of the first, like, when you realized you went viral for the side piece in the, in the Oh, the man, I was, I mean, you know what? I'm, I'm, my mind's still blown. Like, I, I don't know, because I've trained other stylists, so I get to see my side pieces on other people's videos. And I've even had people, people from other countries still in my videos. So, man, wow. it just let me know I'm doing the right thing. It ain't nothing to be jealous about or be mad about, because, you know, imitation is the best flattery. And then on top of that, it's like I teach how to make these. So for me to be able to 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 pour into other stylists that's been doing hair longer than me and to see what I taught them on their page, listen, that's what an instructor's about. I can't, I can't, I can't doubt the gift. I gotta pass it on, right? So right. it's it's a blessing to just see my videos floating around the internet like that. And even some of them be violating me and they be stealing my work now and be selling them all out the country and stuff. But for the most part. I know that y'all ain't seen it till I snapped that thing on during quarantine. So you got to give your girl her props. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I was hearing you wasn't the first. I don't know who was before me, but I know who handled that and who ran with it. So <laughs> put some respect on my name. <laughs> hey, look, yesterday's price ain't today's price, right? <laughs> yep. So now what makes you just put the side piece on the dog? Like when I, when I first discovered you on TikTok, I cannot stop laughing. The comedy for the culture was on one one K. And I just kept sending videos to my friends. I'm like, yeah, look at this. This is crazy. So what made you decide to just throw the side piece on the dog? Man, I was just sitting on the floor. I was going through, first of all, God bless my mama. Um, she we, she just got diagnosed with cancer, so I'm sitting on the floor making wigs, you know, in my feelings or whatever, whatever. Princess princess just sitting there, you know, and I just threw it on the head. And I mean it wasn't nothing I planned. It wasn't like, I'm going to put this on my dog so my dog could put me on so the dog could go viral. It was just a joke. You know what I mean? Right. And so I sat on the head. I posted the video. And then they started sharing it. The video went crazy. And I'm just like, oh, you like this? Oh, I got some more tricks. Let me tap down a little bit. Let me, <laughs> boy, let me shake this. <laughs> Give me some of this brown hair right here. Let me, and I just kind of, I just made it a thing, you know? And then I was in a place in my life where I was hurting because, you know, my mom was diagnosed, so it was like, man, it felt so good to know I was going through what I was going through, and a lot of people didn't know that with all her treatments and stuff, but to be able to make people laugh through your pain and to, like, bring joy to people, even though, you know, deep down behind the camera, you really crying, but you have people inboxing you like, I just had a stroke, or I was in the hospital, and your videos made me smile, or, you know, thank you for, you know, it's just like, Dang, like somebody is going through worse than me or my baby was just killed, but I watched your video and it made me laugh. So it was like, man, God, thank you. I just look at it as a gift because it really, even though now she has passed, it puts a smile on my face. Like this is my outlet from selling wigs, from being mommy, being wife, being being a salon owner. This this my this my I don't have to put on I, I don't have to be perfect to do this I do this you know what I mean and right. my vibe attract my tribe and the people that think it's funny laugh and the people that don't don't but I'm just appreciative for the people that allow me to finally let my hair down and be authentic and I don't have to try to tippy toe and make sure the salon is running smooth and the kids ate this is my joy this is my this is my peace 
this this for me. You get what I'm saying? So, right. yeah. Now, how how do you just get Princess to sit still going through all this, all this right here? How do you get her you to sit still while you're trying to get her prepped for content? And like, here, girl, let me put this on your head. Like, how, how, how does that work? If I was to sit Princess down right now, she'll sit just like this. She wouldn't even move. Really? She's an older dog. Um, she's seasoned, she trained, she's older, so she just be, she chilling. Like, if people be like, you heard that dog, she is chilling. I sit her down, she not gonna bark, she not gonna move, she not gonna run, and then she likes it because she's so spoiled. Any type of, you see what I'm saying? Any type of touchy touch, any type of, any type of feel on her, she love it. So, hey, as long as I'm not hurting her and, you know, she look, good, I'm good. We're gonna keep don't running. want Peter to come running after you. No, honey, let me tell you something. I put on a fur coat and was dancing. I said, you know what? I don't need to put on a fur no more because baby, they bite. You put fur on fur. You put <laughs> fur on the dog. I'm like, oh my God. First of all, how you know this even real? And second of all, leave me alone. Oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, now, they um, you go they by State Hair me. Museum. What would be the perfect beauty museum if you was to create it, walking into it for the experience for not only you, but your guests. What, what, what would be the perfect beauty museum created by you? How it would look or how it would run? What you mean? Well, how it would look? Mirrors and chandeliers and icicles and um, angel <laughs> angels hanging off from the ceiling. Anything angelic and pretty and lights and, and beauty. Anything with y'all just give me a bunch of chandeliers and crystals. It could be white walls, but just give me nothing but lights. That's it. I just want a lot of pretty lights and just beauty around me, you know? And so what's pretty you ever in the think about hair? creating a beauty museum with a lot of different hair textures, like a real modern art hair museum? Mm -hmm. I, I ain't really thought about that, but that's something I would, I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess my museum would have to be diversity. I'd have to say diversity. It'd have to have a lot of diversity, a lot of texture. Um, yeah, it just have to have some diversity, cause it's just beauty comes in so many different shapes and forms: dark, light, big, small, black, white. It just have to be diverse. It just have to be a, a, a well lit, beautiful, diverse museum for women of all colors. Now, again, you a sassy chick. You like to switch it up. What is like your top five beauty hacks that women that you feel could use on a daily? Um. Okay, a beauty hack. Your top five. If you sweat in your head, don't tie, don't put a scarf on your head on at night. Okay, if you have short hair and you know you sweat in your scalp, um, don't tie it up. Um, if you have short hair, you need to buy a side piece, <laughs> like the one I'm wearing today, because when I take this off, I'm a bald-headed pixie. So get you a side piece, that's number two. Number three, you wanna make sure that you keep your hair moisturized and conditioned using a good shampoo. Um, Number four, um, stop greasing your scalp with so much. Stop greasing your scalp and put so much oil on it. Um, yeah, stop clogging up your pores. Um, and number five, man, adjust your crown and get your hair done. I don't care what you're going through and how you're feeling. Um, tighten up. And if you're having them days like that, that's why I make these side pieces. Because for those days when you just kind of ain't feeling yourself, let me tell you something. My motto is when you look good, you feel good. When you feel good, right. you can produce. You can produce. And a lot of times we be going through and you be moping around and stuff, and it's because you be looking ugly, you're feeling ugly, you're acting ugly. But, man, ain't nothing like just, man, your hair looking good. So I challenge anybody that's going through something for real, for real, man, just take a minute to either take a scarf and tie it real cute, put your lip on and an earring, or, or just go get your hair done and just feel good about yourself because it really works. It really works. Now, being a di digital creator and a viral sensation, sensation what do you feel like some of the pros and cons is with having that status of, you know, an influencer? Um, um, man, the pros is it's a blessing. I'm not big headed. So, um, it's just a blessing. I'm for real. This stuff will be gone tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Princess is already sick. It's time for me to create her GoFundMe because she needs some surgery. But, um, this all could be gone in the blink of an eye. You know, losing my mom has really showed me that, man, nothing is forever. So take care of it while you got it. You know, enjoy it while it's here. So um, the pros is I just feel blessed because it could have been anybody, but God chose me 
um, you have people that's putting out content every single day. It can't never go viral. I've had several viral moments. Um, and I'm just thankful. You know what I mean? So the pros is just, man, God being on my side and allowing me to be creative and step from behind the chair and, and, and showing me that I have other gifts besides just doing hair and making wigs. I, I didn't even know I was funny. I could actually make people laugh or I could be inspirational or I can be a speaker. And it was just things that I knew I was, a, I, God just put me in the, in a, in a position to where he's, he's just birthing new gifts out of me. So I feel like one door closed and so many more has opened. So that's one of the pros. And then the cons is, um, I don't have no cons. I'm, I'm feeling it. I don't really have no cons besides people having slick stuff to say that don't know you in their comments. Oh, child, why is the corner of your finger ashy like that, girl? Them, them fingers ashy. Girl. Them fingernails need a fill in, or um, you know, they. Um, I went on live with my daughter, and a pedophile said something slick to her, and that wow. threw me. I hadn't even went live. I haven't went back live since on TikTok. It 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 just, it turned my stomach. So um. Yeah, just stuff like that. Just people hiding behind the keyboard, knowing good and well that they saw you in the streets. They wouldn't. They wouldn't dare. They wouldn't dare fix their mouth and say some of the stuff they say under the comments. But you know, everybody ain't happy. There's some miserable folks on social media. They just laying in the bed, scrolling, and just trying to make pull you down and make you just a set. Not me. And not me. So that's the only kind I could really tell you. Other than that, I don't. I let it slide off my back like water. Now, since since having. The you know the platform and being viral. Have you ever just been out and somebody recognized you from TikTok and stopped you and what well, like what was the re what was the reaction? I was tripping off of that. Whenever I go to the airport or wherever we go to the park or whenever I'm with her, you know my face isn't really on her videos. It's just my voice, so they don't really be knowing knowing me until I put her wig on and she's dressed and it's like you the dog lady or. You the TikTok lady, and then it just blew my mind when I had people wanting to take pictures. I was like, okay, you know. So it's all good. It's just it is what it is, child. I'm still Shay. Look, so what's next for Shay Hair Museum? What do we have upcoming in the future? Any classes? Any new creations? Any new collaborations? You know what? Right now, I'm I'm in the midst of uh, rebranding. Um, I'm just in the midst of rebranding. You know, my whole why for life has changed. Everything in life has changed. So I really can't tell you. Um, I know I slow down on doing hair um, just so that I can kind of hear where God wants me to go next because I have no clue. I got a lot going on between the dogs, my side pieces, my salon. I'm trying to do a nonprofit with the kids and doing their hair and keeping the girls cute that are homeless or whatever have you. So it's, it's a lot. So I'm, and I wanted my goal, honestly, is to become a, 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 a speaker, an influential a speaker, so a public speaker. So I don't know. I really have no clue, but I just know that everything is working and, and just keep doing something until something turns into something. So I'm, I'm not sure, but. I'm in the midst of rebranding, so stay tuned. I, but whatever's going to be, it's going to be good, it's going to be big, and it's going to be next level. Man, so for those of y'all that are just now tuning in, or if you have been tuning in, we're Behind the Brand with Shea Hair Museum. I'm the man behind the brand. Stylish Sean Gardner, I bring you everything, entertainment, fashion, lifestyle with some of your favorite fashion influencers, and entertainers, everybody you can think of. We, we just go behind the brand. We give you the inside scoop, the one-on-one, so you can see who they are behind the lens, in front of the lens. Yep. So, you know, this is the moment where we get to give some of your fans some time to interact and ask you some of the great questions. Let's see. We got some people chimed in that want to get on, so let's see who we got here. Let's see if they're going to answer. Thank you, Classy, for the congratulations. Thank you. My allergies is bothering me. And if you're loving this interview, make sure you... Subscribe to my YouTube channel. We got a lot of more hot people we didn't, I didn't spoke to, and you know, a lot more content coming up. Hey, Ice Riches. Hey. If you got any questions you want to ask, you want to jump on the live and inter interact with us, because again, this is hey, a hey, live Chris. interactive audience. Make sure you hit the request button, and I will bring you on. Thank you, thank you. Love my beautiful friend. I love you too. Thank you. She is anointed. That's your stylist, Lady Q. Look, thank y'all. Hey, y'all. 
Hey, pretty gal. They here for the princess and Shay. Hey, bam. Love you, bam. It is going up. Hey, Faith. Listen, y'all have any questions y'all want to ask me? Y'all want to chime like, in? Oh, jump thank on you. With us. She's showing this ugly. I don't think I um turned my badge on. I'm sorry. She always show up. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Pam. It's your girl. Sh hey, Charlotte. If y'all want to jump on, hit the request button. Hit the request button if you would like to jump on and ask some direct questions with, you know, with Shay. Join the conversation. This is the live interactive audience. This is the man behind the brand. We are talking to Shay Hair Museum and Princess. You know, can't forget Princess. One of the extra can't stars. Can't forget of the Princess. Show. It's Bree Mama. Hey, hey, girl. Love you. So too. let me ask you this. I know you Look, said you want to do some. Look, here she go. Tell who said something. Faith, Faith, you saying something? So let me ask you this. I know you said you want to be a motivational, influential speaker. Could you see yourself acting? I can, I can see that for you. You know what? I, when I did the skit in the salon, I was the first. I'm, t I'm telling you, man, God is so good. Because the only thing I knew I, I thought I could do was hair. I, and hey, Rhonda, you've always been. And thank you, Rhonda. Um, I didn't even know. I, I'm telling you, man, God's so good. I don't even want to get emotional. But it's like, dang, you 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 ever find out that you were good at something and you ain't even know? The hair and made you tap into other purpose, like other purpose. Yeah, I'm about, I've been I've been standing behind the chair doing hair for what 20 years now. So it was run a business, do hair. Clients got to be the word. They got to pick their kids up. This this that. So my whole life, I was everything I went to. I was late to it. I was tired on the weekends i wanted to sleep i missed out on a lot of my kids growing up you know what i'm saying so uh -huh, child. I, I i had no clue that i could do half of the things that i'm doing until now and i'm like dang i might can act a little bit hey tyler perry where you going <laughs> you got a little scribble a piece for me a little something but i would i at this point in my life let me tell you something i ain't i ain't scared to fail i ain't scared i'm telling some boy you, when, when you lose your mama I'm talking about I ain't scared of nothing. You hear me? I'm just, it's, it's whatever. Like, I'm just ready for whatever is next in life, whatever the next phase, whatever it looks like, because it's so unknown right now, and it's so it's so cloudy. But I know he get ready to birth something crazy. So right now, you know, it got to be cloudy, you know, the, 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 the storm before the calm, and I'm, I know it got to. I got to go through this. So I'm embracing the process, the pain, the everything. But, man, God is really, he's showing me some stuff. Look, I'm all here for it. I'm i am all here for it. Like, I've been locked in since the roller set on Princess Head. Thank you, man. Yes, you don't I, never I, know I, like, I say you. I love it. I say I, to, I got to reach out to her. I got to reach out to her. Look, it's so y'all, if y'all have any questions, please jump on. Hit the request button. I want to bring you on. I want I want you to engage with us. I want you to get out your questions, you know, you know. Give her a script ASAP in Jesus' name. Thank you. I accept. I received that. There's so much power on social media, y'all, to anybody that's listening. Listen, listen. Get on your social media and get on your grind. You never know who's watching you. You never know what one video might turn into like mine's did. It's just a one video on, on accident. It wasn't even designed to even do anything, and that was it. You know what I mean? And God saw fit for it to take off. So keep posting your stuff. I don't care if you get one or two views. I don't care if it's the same people liking it. But just stay consistent in whatever it is that you're doing. And I'm telling you. And honestly, before Princess popped off, y'all, I was so consistent in posting my work, my hair, my hairstyles. If anybody been following me, you know, I don't play about the hair, the cuts, the weaves. I, I was, I'm talking about like six years straight, just straight hair. And I was saying, I'm going to tell you something. None of my hair videos ever went viral or, you know, they did their numbers, but it never nothing. You know what I'm saying? Which kind of was like, well, darn, you know? And then look what happened. In the midst of doing side pieces, this happened. Then putting them on her head increased my sales. And it just, it just, you know, like oh, wow. two, two, two babies was birthed at one. So it was kind of like, I guess God was trying to make sure that I was going to stay consistent, stay, stay faithful and, and then, I, and then it just came out the blue. So, man, just hang on in there on whatever you're doing. I'm telling you, do not get discouraged. Like, for real, right when you're at that little breaking point and you think it's time to quit, or um, to, that's when it happens. Because I swear when this happened for me, y'all, I was burnt out in my career. But, you know, that's how it works, you know? Man, so this is the man behind the brand with Shea Hair Museum. 
Look, we're about to wrap it up. If y'all got no questions, I want y'all to interact because this is the live interactive audience. Please hit the request button. We want to see some of your faces. I want to engage with you too. You know, it's a whole new world on the other side, Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm in Texas. You know, we're trying to bring that little southern hospitality to the room. What take what part of Texas are you in? Uh Dallas Fort Worth area. Dallas. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's a good class. Yeah, well, I'm a little bit outside of Dallas, but you know they all combine it. Thank you. Thank you. It. Thank you. And I appreciate you all for joining the live. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Again, if you love the show, make sure you subscribe. You know, my YouTube channel, link in the bio. Stay connected with me. Some of my followers stay connected to Shay Hair Museum, Shay Johnson. Thank she you, Monica. A lot, stuff, a lot of inspiration and a lot of love to give, as you see. Thank you, Monica. And thank you all. Thank you all for the support. I seen your name. I hopped on right away. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jay. Shout out to my uh, PRJ, man. That's my dog. Man, me and him been rocking together for a minute. Thank you. I have my notifications on. Thank you. You show is ugly. <laughs> Thank well, I thank y'all for tuning in tonight. This has been a great show. I'm glad we got to meet and connect. And, you know, it's only up from here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. You guys, make sure you follow me on TikTok, Princess and Shay on TikTok. Um, Instagram be tripping sometimes. They be ready to take my, 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 my stuff down. So make sure you follow me on all platforms. Um, Shay Hair Museum for the hair. And Princess and Shay um, on TikTok and Princess and Shay on Instagram as well. Thank y'all. VA in the house. Ah. All right, y'all. So y'all have a nice night. This has been a great show. The man behind the brand. That's the YouTube channel. I'm Stella Sean Gardner. Checking in all the way from te Texas, Dallas Fort Worth. And we out. Much love. Mwah.